So what I'd like to go over is treatment of the wrist and hand, but I'd also like to consider not just the soft tissue structures, including muscles, ligaments, tendons, but the nerves that go through the area and how to free them up a bit, but also considering some acupuncture points in the area we call fascial expansions. The fascia thickens in areas of restriction and we have 10 times the neurological receptors in fascia as compared to other tissue or muscles. But also we have to consider the joints themselves in terms of how we would mobilize these areas. So anytime we're dealing with the wrist and hand, we want to start working our way actually all the way down the forearm here too because a lot of these muscles connect here. So the flexors to begin with. You doing okay? Oh yeah. Take it down. Down. Good. Okay. So again, we got a little bit of circumduction in there. Taking up. Okay. When I go here, and I go here, what's the difference? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, you can feel under the skin there, layers of tissue actually, it's kind of like with my fingers here, going over top of one another and turning yeah. there and breaking up restrictions. And you really do not get that unless you, if you go in that straight, mm -hmm. linear vector. Yeah. Okay, good. So working our way around here, do we feel a release? Getting on the extensors back here. Doing okay there? Oh yeah. Okay, now. Good. Yep, take it in. Good. Straighten that elbow out a little bit, thank you. Good. And good. Doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty intense, isn't it? Oh, big time. Okay. Here. Okay. And here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Quite a difference, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Like literally under my thumb, I can feel the different fibers rolling over top of one another. Yeah. And I can feel when they actually let go a bit and I get a better gliding under yeah. the tissue. Which, uh, well, from my perspective, is pretty cool. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And then as we start getting closer to the wrist here, okay, just bring your wrist up to take it down, right down as far as you can. Take it down, okay, now roll it, turn it around a bit. There we go, good. Again, good. Excellent, and again, good. Over here, okay, take it down, circle. There we go. <laughs> Huge difference. Okay. Take it down. Circle. Keep it slow. Keep it slow. Keep it slow. Good. Excellent. And again. Good. So, just take this here. Kind of work our way around. Your hands are pretty loose, actually. Yeah, they're not bad. No, they're not bad. Well, this is great for people that have osteoarthritic changes in their hands. Mm. You really see the difference in there. So they start getting, joints start getting really swollen. There we go. Take it down. Now we're going to mainly around the soft tissue here. But so let's just open this up a bit. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Good. This is generally feels good. Yes. <laughs> Mobilize carpals in there, but like I said, you're you're actually moving pretty well in here. Mm -hmm. But what we do is you'd also consider, you know, make sure you've got good mobility in the fingers, which you do, <laughs> and the thumb. There we go. Even taking a look at the radial head, make sure that's gliding well. Look on. There's a radius and ulna. Good. So one thing I want to mention is, in terms of dealing with the fascia, is actually you can get in, you can stimulate, work on different acupuncture points using acupressure, spending about 30 seconds to three minutes on each point, and only pick a few areas where you find there's a restriction. Now, we've actually created videos on this, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this, but I'll just mention a few points here, such as pericardium seven. Now, if we get in there and we start working our way down, okay, how are we doing here? Yeah, no problem there. No. So it's not just a matter of going clockwise and or clockwise. 
actually get in and work the area out a bit, but stay around the general location because there's an area of influence in the fascia or a thickening. Good. You doing okay there? Oh, yeah. Good. Now, if I was to turn the hand over here and I was to get up, turn some large intestine four right there, feeling that quite a bit? Oh, yeah. And I could also get more towards the side on the ulnar side, working my way down towards the crease of the wrist, and just above there towards the carpals, and right into there, right there. You feel that a lot, yeah, don't you? Yeah. And this is uh, small intestine four. Now, each of these points are gonna help to increase mobility in the wrist, reduce the amount of inflammation in the area, actually get more blood flow into the area even. And there's actually really good scientific evidence to support this. Right there. Is that still as tender? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty tight in there, isn't it? Yeah. So there's generally about six points in the area, but we've made videos on this, and these are the wrist and hand fascial expansions. So if you go into our playlist, you'll find specific points, so you can learn a lot more about them, but we'll also have areas where we actually go over the entire fascial expansion. This is really powerful work.